Hey everybody, this is a unusual video for some of you, not for me, but for some of you. The reason why I'm making this video, I want to get a message out to the people that don't truly understand praise or you're very uncomfortable praising. I made a video about this about four months ago, but it wasn't the best and I kind of filtered it because I didn't want to offend certain people. But this time, I'm going to be very blunt and forward with you guys. And I know it's going to be many of you that receive and you understand exactly what it is I'm trying to insinuate. Let me explain something to you guys. It's no secret to any of you that the black church is known mainly for how they act and how they praise in the church. Anytime you talk to somebody about the black church, the first thing that they'll say is, Oh, they be jamming. You will hear different people when it comes uh, into a conversation about the black church. They'll talk about how people jump, how they hop around, how they speak in tongues, how they dance. It's even people in the world right now. Even some Christians, they make fun and they make jokes about how people praise God in church. But on the real, all jokes aside, I want to tell you guys something. There are so many of you out here right now, you are very uncomfortable with praising God. And you don't praise God, not because you're a devil, not because you're evil person but strictly because you don't understand praise let me be real with you guys there have been some of us from childhood when we first got saved and started going to church there were people that taught us to lift up our hands say hallelujah say amen praise God you will even be threatened and called out of your name by numerous men and women of God. They may not mean harm, but some, they do mean it. And they will begin to yell and say, oh, you think you got that degree. You don't want to lift up your hands. Oh, you being sadity. You don't want to lift up your hands and praise God. You're too cute to praise God. This is the type of things that you hear in a church setting. But the truth of the matter is everybody's not going to praise God because they don't know who he is. You can be taught and trained about God. You can hear about God. But until you, you have a personal encounter with God and you hear the voice of God for the very first time in your life and he's leading you and guiding you, you won't really understand truly what it means when you praise. A lot of praise is a learned behavior from people. Let me break that down. There are people in the church they will stand around and they will see hundreds of people screaming, hollering, foaming at the mouth, falling out, dancing out of their wigs, dancing out of their shoes, speaking in tongues. You will even see people congregate around certain people that praise and they will be clapping and yelling and laughing and even taking little towels. Do I have a towel? I don't even have a towel, but I wish I had a towel because some people have a little napkin or a little handkerchief and they'll be waving it and fanning it around with somebody dancing and they'll be saying, girl, get yours, get yours. And it begins to look like a club scene. It begins to look like you're at a party or you're at a picnic. And I'm sorry, I'm not comfortable with that. And I'm not a part of that because I don't feel God is involved in that. I'm not knocking anybody. I'm speaking in general. Let me explain to you people. Everybody is worthy to praise God. The crackhead can praise. The prostitute can praise. The liar can praise. The gossiper can praise. The whore can praise. The thief can praise. Everybody can praise. But God has to deal with you one on one and you have to develop a personal relationship with God before you even understand the praise. Some people will see people praising. It could be 400 people in church and there's 399 people praising and you that one. You the 400th person that is just standing there and you not doing nothing and you looking around. If that's you, don't feel bad because a lot of times what people do when they see everybody praising, I've heard stories, I've talked to people. They'll say, well, I just started crying, making myself cry. I just started jumping up and down and dancing. Uh, I just fell out on the ground because everybody around me was doing it. And I didn't feel anything, but I didn't want to look like I was the devil. So I just did it. I've had several people come and tell me, not only from my church, but other places, that this is what they've done to fit in because they have been... I don't know. They, they feel so uncomfortable when it comes to praising if they haven't got to that point yet. But let me explain something to you. Praise should not be played with. Praise is not a show. Praise is personal. Praise is personal. You cannot be taught how to praise God. You can't. In Psalms, 
If you ever have time, read the book of Psalms. I don't really want to go to church on this video, but I partially have to. Read the book of Psalms. All in Psalms, it talks about how you praise God. It talks about it. You should just always glorify and praise God. And I was hearing that all my life, but I truly didn't understand it. But when I began to hear God deal with me and speak to me, and he just took me out of some stuff. God pulled me out of some stuff. And baby, when I tell you, it changed the way that I praise God. Start off like this, people. If you got to lift up one finger, if you got to lift up one hand, if you just got to sit there and just say, amen, start off small, start off small. But trust me, if you are not a praiser, you will get to the point where you praise God. You will get to that point. And when I tell you that God touches people and it has nothing to do with you being threatened, you don't have to be threatened. Some people say, oh, you're not going to get blessed if you don't lift up your hands and praise God. No, that's not true. Now, the Bible does say when praises go up, blessings come down. That's true. But see, God got abundant grace and mercy over people. And he shines on the just as well as the unjust. So I'm telling you to tip to, I'm saying that to say this, God will still bless you. Even though you don't fully even acknowledge him because that's just the God that we serve. He's constant in everything. So I just want to make that clear. But let me tell you guys something. I'm going to end this video. I was praying one day by myself about a month ago and God spoke to me and he said, tell the people to get in my presence. And once the people get in my presence, I will do some amazing things. I want to tell you guys before I end this video message, get in the presence of God. I dare you. I dare you to get into the presence of God today. Put away your children. Put them to bed. Send them to the family room. Get off of Instagram. Get off of Facebook. Get off of Twitter. Get off all the social media sites. Turn off your TV. Put your phone on tickle. That's vibrate or silent. Because you know if it tickles you. Sometimes if you feel the vibration. But seriously, turn your phone off. Get by yourself. Get into the presence of the Lord. And you might not even fully understand it. You may feel very uncomfortable. Some of you are, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, before I made this video, I prayed for all of you. Real talk. I really did. For each and every one of my followers, my Facebook friends, and even on YouTube. Some of you all are going to feel very weird and uncomfortable, and you're supposed to. But some of you, some amazing stuff is going to happen for you just when you lift up your hands. You don't even have to have all this special stuff that you're about to say to God. All you got to do is just lift up your hands. If you need to scream, scream. If you need to cry, cry. If you want to ask God something, if you want to say something, just say it. But when you lift up your hands, that is a sign of surrender. So what I want to tell you guys in this video, get into the presence of God. Understanding about a lot of things you don't have a clue about is going to come to some of you. It's going to hit some of you. Some stuff is going to hit your home when you get into the presence of God. That's my video message to you people. I was very delighted to do this video actually. And it's long. It's almost nine minutes. But guys, do it. Because when it comes to praise, people are making fun of the black church. They making fun of the vessels of the Lord and how you praise. But all I'm saying is that don't ever feel embarrassed and let, you know, left out when you see everybody else dancing and hopping around. Because it's some people, they fake praise God. They do. Not that I'm really paying attention to them, but sometimes you are alert and you're not trying to spectate, but you can't help but see it. Because some people want to be seen. They want to be loud, the loudest. They want to be speaking in tongues. They want people to believe that they the most anointed, holy one, but they doing it for show. But let, let me tell you something. If you see somebody that's sitting in church and the singers are singing and the dancers are dancers and the minstrels are playing. If you see somebody sitting there and they're doing this in silence, that does not mean that they're not praising God. Each one of us praise God differently. Who am I? Who are you to judge the next man or woman for how they praise? You don't know what's going on in that person's mind or their spirit or their heart. You don't know what they silently thinking or what they saying. So that's what I want to tell you people that are not praises and don't really understand it. And the new people that don't really go to church. I want to tell you when you go into the church and you seeing these people do that. Trust me, if you want it. And just automatically, I'm going to tell you just off GP, when you get into the presence of God, sometimes you don't even have to talk to him 
or pray about how you praise him. Sometimes when he do something different in you and he bring you out of some stuff that no human could bring you out of. Trust me, I've been there. I'm still going through some stuff. But when God pierce you with something and he just reveals certain things to you and say certain things to you, you will be naturally automatic when it comes to how you praise him.